Hey everyone, welcome to our next lesson. It's on arithmetic series. Arithmetic series is very similar to arithmetic sequences. Uh, the only difference is instead of having commas between each term, now we're going to have addition between each terms. We have two formulas to solve an arithmetic series. Um, Sn equals n divided by 2 brackets u1 plus un, where u1 is the first term and un is the last term in your series. And Sn is the sum of all the terms added together. So if we looked at our first example, 13 plus 15 plus 17 plus 19, we could say that the sum, S of n, well, there's four terms in this, so let's say S of 4 is equal to n, so there's four terms divided by 2, and then u1 is your first term, which is 13, plus the last term, which is 19. Then you go about solving that uh, problem, so 2 times 32, which is equal to 64. Our second formula, Sn equals n divided by 2 brackets 2u1 plus n minus 1 times d. Um, so if you wanted to use this formula to solve 13 plus 15 plus 17 plus 19, what you would do is sum of the first four terms equals 4 divided by 2. 2 to u1, u1 is your first term, which is 13. 4 minus 1. And this, the difference, well, the difference between each term, so 15 minus 13 is 2, 17 minus 15 is 2, so your difference is 2. And you plug that together, and it will also equal 64. Now, obviously, with only four terms, you would just use your, your addition skills and put them together. But if there was more terms, these formulas would come in handy. Now sometimes, as you see in example 2, where you have 3 plus 5 plus 7 all the way to 51, you don't know, actually know what n is, or how many terms you have in this series. So when you get a problem like that, which you would see on IB, what you need to do is first figure out what n is. How many terms do you have? So you need to go back to your sequence formula, pretend that this was 3 5, 7, all the way to 51, and figure out what n is. Okay? So what you're going to do is u of n is equal to u1 plus n minus 1 times d. Well, we know that your difference is 2. n is what you're trying to figure out. u1 is your first term, so that's 3. And un is your last term, which is 51. So we're going to play around with that equation. So 51 minus 3 is 48, which is equal to n minus 1 times 2. Divided by 2, so 24 is equal to n minus 1. So n is equal to 25. Now that we know what n is, we can plug it into one of the formulas. Either one works. So the sum of the first 25 terms is equal to 25 divided by 2 times u1, u1 is your first term, which was 3, plus the last term, which is 51. That's un. Put that together, 51, divide, or 51 plus 3 is 54. 54 divided by 2 is 27 times 25, and you get some answer. Hope that helps. Have a good day.